Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the fifth part of our car modeling tutorial. So, let's go ahead and start creating this front windshield here. Okay, so let's go ahead, select this up. Okay, that's just the door in one piece. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just simply select these two edges, extrude. I'm going to press W key to get my move tool. I'll just push this all the way to the middle. Okay, so we have to place them exactly in the middle. Let's go to the front view. There it is. Okay, so let's go to vertex, select this vertex point. Press X for grid snap. Select this one. Again, grid snap. Okay, so that snaps all to the center. Okay, looking good. Now, this one is not matching up with that. Let's go ahead and press three, sorry, press one. Okay, so that looks like so. And let me just take a look once again here. Okay, so we have a, a picture of the front top view also. So here we can see how it sh how it's supposed to come. Okay, so we have a big gap here. Okay, so what we have uh, from the bonnet will just finish here, and then we will have these two ventilation holes and stuff. Okay, so what I'll do is. <laughs> Try to make some changes here so I'll try to make some small changes here let me just select this guy and move these ones a bit inside okay this one also somewhere like so like so like so okay looking good and I can just pull these things up Okay, we'll check it again in the side view. Okay, this needs to go further inside. I believe that this can be pushed all the way till there. And so this will come here. Great. And this will just touch there. Okay, looking good. So now these two vertices can be in the same place. Let me make it bigger. We'll just check it out. Okay, I'm going to press V for point snap. Or I can also turn on point snap here. So this is going to be snapped to that point. Okay, and then we have all these other things. They need to be connected to the same. Okay, so let's make a small smooth result here. Okay. Looks good. We will have to check uh, how this comes out. Okay, so that it goes up then goes straight here so what we've done is correct so far so now I will have to add some more divisions okay so we have one two three four divisions we'll have to add the same four divisions between these points so I'll go to edge select all these three edges okay and I can go to connect components so that adds up one if you want, you can also add all the three together at the same time, but I like to do them one by one. The reason is just because if you add all of them together, then it'll be a little bit difficult for you to place them and create the same perfect arc. But if I can do them one by one, I can just add the middle one and push it so that we get the perfect arc. And then I can just keep on adding the ones that are needed. 
Okay, so here I will have to add one more. If you have been watching the other parts, by now you must have known what which buttons I have pressed. If you don't know, then I will just tell you what I did. Okay, so select one edge and then you press up arrow. Okay, sometimes it goes to the uh, edge loop. So in that case, press the up arrow twice. Okay, so you get all these three edges selected. Now press shift, right click and choose connect components. Looks good. So I'll select all of them, pull them inside. So you can see that we have a nice smooth result here. Okay, now if you think that it's, um, because we have to add one more here, if you want to just push this slightly to the left side, we can also use a tool called slide edge tool. So make sure that you select the entire edge loop, press shift, right click, and there's something called slide edge tool. So choose that. Now it gives us the information, says that drag with middle mouse button, MMB. Okay, so press and hold the middle mouse button, then drag it to the left or right, you can just reposition him. Okay, so that looks good. So now I will just press V once again and then snap it there. Okay, so now for the last one, I will just insert an edge loop right here. Now when you add an edge loop, keep in mind, don't click in the middle area, okay? Click on the edge that you want, okay? So that it will create that for us. Looking good, I'll just push this slightly forward. Okay, and now I can select this vertex, press V, snap. Okay, looking good. I think I might have to just push this slightly front. Okay, so once we're done with that, we can also make a duplicate to the other side so that we can check the car um, in both the sides. Okay, let me just check here one more little thing. Okay, it has gone too much high. I'll try to bring it down. Bring this down. Bring this down. Okay, we can further tweak later also, not a problem. These two can go a little bit backwards. Now when you make changes, please make sure that you're checking in all the accesses because in one view it might look good, but in the other view it might not. So you have to be careful. Just make sure that it looks good in all the different views. Fine. So now to make the duplicate to the other side, I will have to change the pivot point uh, of the object. Okay, press insert key, turn on the grid snap, then snap it to the center. I will press insert key once again to get rid of that, select, and now we can make duplicate. Let's go to edit, duplicate special. I hope that we have the settings already, correct? So hit that button so we get the other side. It looks perfect. And now let me just align this, this point. Okay, now because we made the instance, so you can see that the other side is also getting it Correct. Okay, so now let me just make a copy of this one also. Select him. Okay, press insert key. Uh, make sure the grid snap is on. Snap it to the center. Looking good. Press insert key once again to get rid of that. And now all I can do is just go to edit, delete by type history, edit duplicate special. So we get the other side, looking good. And now what we can do is we can also make a copy of these wheels, okay? So just to make the copy easy, I'm going to make a group, Control G, 
So that creates a group. And when you make a group, you will notice that the pivot point automatically goes to the origin, which is great for us, so that we just have to simply make the duplicate. So again, go to Edit, Duplicate Special, and there you go. Okay, looking good. So the next step we want to do is we'll create this top of the car. Okay, so if I go up here, you can see that it has some two, three levels. Okay, so let's just select, we'll start from the front. I'm going to select the edge from here all the way till here. Extrude, press W because we want to move it just straight up and I will turn off the grid snap. Okay, just a small one. Or, yeah, there you go. And now, we'll keep it in the same size. If need, we can just push it back inside once again. I'll do one more extrude, change to move tool, push it up. Okay, so now these ones that are in the front has to go inside. Okay, so let me just do that. Something like that. We need to bring this one closer here. And if I look at the front view also, we need to push this further inside. Let me select all this, just push them like so. I think I can also keep this slightly down. Okay, so these ones can be pushed up. No, I think I can make one more extrude and that extrude can cover it up. This one can be going a little bit inside. Looking good. So now let's make one more extrude from there to here. Extrude. Sorry, I think I selected something wrong. Okay, double click. Extrude. Okay, I will scale it instead of pressing W. Okay, so that way comes in like so. Okay, all we can do is just select this one vertex, press X and snap it. Now, if you think that that one is also not connected, you can do that. Okay, so that starts to look good. So we'll finish part five here and we will continue on to the next part. If you like the video, please hit the like button. You will also find the other parts in the same uh, playlist. You can also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and also turn on the bell icon to get notified when I make a new video. Thank you. See you in the next part.